uh, those photos on the screen. But this is the news of the day, folks, so we'll bring it to you. Uh, in the meantime, former Washington, D.C. homicide detective Rod Wheeler joins us now to help break this down for us a little bit. We're still all getting our arms around this, Rod, and trying to understand uh, right. what exactly made this guy snap. But, but, but looking at what you saw last night, let me ask you from an investigative standpoint what clues you'd be looking for in that so-called manifesto. Well, you know, what's really interesting about the manifesto itself, the rants and ravings that this guy talks about in the video, you can't necessarily make out each line, Megan, as to what he's talking about or what he's saying. So in a case like that, what you have to do is try to make out in between the lines. What is the hidden messages behind this? What drove Cho to do the things that he did? And what I'm more concerned about as a police investigator is where were the signs that showed that this guy was about to explode? As you and everyone knows now, Cho was a walking time bomb and has been such for the past few years. Why was it that someone wasn't a little bit more alert in terms of identifying that and getting this guy the kind of help that he needed? So it's what's in between the lines, if you will, Megan, that we really need to try to figure out. Rod, what about on NBC News last night when they broke this story? One of the things they talked about was, well, did, that, did anybody help him take these pictures or did anybody actually shoot that video that we're watching when he does this stuff. Uh, is there any way investigatively to, to actually figure that out? I mean, it's obvious, we've all, like, you know, taken photos where you set the, the timer. There's no, no reason to assume somebody helped him, but how do you figure that out? Well, you know, what's really interesting about that question is the fact that there are ways that you can figure that out. And I'll share this much with you. I did have the opportunity to speak with an investigator on the uh, NBC side who actually watched all or who saw the whole videotape, parts of the videotape that we haven't seen here that they have not released. And I can tell you, he said he was pretty sure. I just spoke with him this morning. He said he was pretty sure that Cho probably took these videos himself and that he didn't have anybody with him. And the reason he told me, Megan, that he believed that is because the camera angle was very close to Cho yeah. as if he had set it up on a tripod. Right. It, it really was. Rod Wheeler, thank you so much, as always, for your insight. Thanks, Megan. All right. There is other news. And